In this lesson, we will learn how we can create an ellipse. The ellipse tool, like the previous drawing tools we learned, can be found in both the Draw menu and the Home ribbon if we look at the panel Draw. Again, we can just type the word ellipse in the command line and press Enter to activate it. As I mentioned in the previous lessons, I prefer using the ribbon to activate these tools, so I will click on the arrow next to the ellipse icon on the Home ribbon to see what are my options. The first option, which is usually the default, is the center option. Once I select the center ellipse, I first have to click and define its center. Then, I have to specify the end point of its axis. For this example, I will turn the ortho mode on to help me define the major axis of the ellipse in the x direction and the minor axis of the ellipse in the y axis direction. I will move the cursor to the right, type the number 500, and press Enter to define the length of the semi-major axis. Then, I will move the cursor up, type the number 250, and press Enter to define the length of the semi-minor axis. Notice that the ellipse is created and the tool has been deactivated automatically. Let's see now how the next option works. I will click on the arrow next to the ellipse icon again, but this time I will select the Axis End option. Once active, a message prompts me to specify the first end point of the axis, so I will click somewhere in the drawing area to do so. Then, I have to specify the other end point of the axis, and by defining the other point, I will define the length of the major axis. So I will move the cursor to the right, Type the number 1000 and press Enter. Now, a new message prompts me to specify the distance of the other axis, which is basically the length of the semi-minor axis. This time, I will type the number 250 and press Enter. Notice that an identical ellipse has been created. If I had moved the cursor upwards instead, I could have defined the length of the minor axis and then the length of the semi-major axis. So I will activate the same tool again to show you exactly what I mean. I will click somewhere in the drawing area to define the end point of the axis, then move my cursor upwards and set the length of the minor axis 1000. I will press Enter and notice that now the length of the minor axis was defined. Next, I will set the length of the semi-major axis to 250. Once I press Enter, the ellipse is created, and notice that the new ellipse is actually a 90-degree rotated version of the last one. As for the last option, which is the elliptical arc, it's not something we usually use, so I'm not going to show you an example of it. The reason why this option is not usually used lies in its complexity. Furthermore, there are other ways to create elliptical arcs using a combination of the tools Ellipse, Line and Trim, which is a tool from the Modify panel which we will learn about in the following lessons. Before we finish the lesson, I have to mention that the center snap applies to the ellipse too. So, if for example I wanted to create a line starting from the center of the ellipse, I would select the Line tool first, Make sure that the center snap was active, move the cursor onto the ellipse, and once the center symbol appeared, click on it to define the start of the line.